Okay, Mark. Um, let's go ahead and get Mark spotlighted so we can. There he is. Okay, Mark, you're spotlighted and you're on. Okay, last week uh, when we showed the uh, offset wine stoppers and the multi X wine stoppers, uh, let me just uh, get a couple of these things here. All right, I'm going to turn my phone over to Frank. He's going to hold the phone. Reverse it. Frank, can you see me? So I'll go up a little bit. Uh... Oh. Okay. Can we put him on the big screen? Okay, can you see that, Frank? Yeah, I can see it. Put it against your white, white background. Okay. Up a little bit, up a little bit more. All right. There you go. I'm going to spin this around. This is a multi axis turning, and this is an offset turning. So I'm going to show you the difference, right? Uh, offset means it is set parallel to the uh, to this axis. It goes sideways to the axis. A multi-axis is tilted this way. So I'm going to. So a multi-axis, you only the, turn uh, one end, Mark. A what? On a multi-axis, you only change one end? Uh, yes. You're going to do one, one axis on it. Okay. Okay, so what I've done is I take the, the, the wine stopper. Right? Uh, plug this in here. <laughs> hey, don't, don't highlight me, guys. <laughs> Just a second. Now well, it looks like Mark's froze up. He's going to have to get out and come back in, probably. You're muted, Trey. What about Jeff on safety? Jeff, are you out there? I didn't see him log in. You flip through to folks here. Trey, have you have you been turning anything lately, or you just uh, no, chilling out? I've been chilling out. <laughs> okay. I'm going to shoot Mark a quick message here, and in case he doesn't realize he's froze. Okay. Is he still online? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. No. He's back in the waiting room. Yeah, I just clicked him. Okay, come in. Okay. Did he make it in? Um, he's out of the waiting room. Mark, you still there? Spotlight. All right, you back online, Mark. All right, can you see this? So we've put a block in here, and uh, I put a, a tenon on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this thing around and we're going to put the turn in here. And we're going to do the offset first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to create the top of the bottle stopper. I'm going to put this up here. Mark, when you put that in there, did you put it in there straight on the tenant? Straight on the tenant. Okay. Straight on the tenant. I'm just going to take a spindle gouge and do some plunge cuts. Look at 
shavings. What? Makes it look so easy. Okay, so what I've done is I've made the top of the uh, wine stopper. Okay. And now I'm going to take this out. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bother sanding this thing, but what I have to do now is I'm going to look and see what I want on the front of the wine stopper. I want this on the front. So I'm going to go to the center and I'm going to go back. I'm going to take a, a one quarter inch. And I'm going back 180 degrees back from the front. And so I'm going to offset that from the center a quarter of an inch. All right. And then I'm going to drill a hole. Uh, let me see here. I'm just going to go over here to the. Uh, here we go. Can you see this? I know. The, uh, we'll do it, Bob. Mark, are you drilling that on your drill press or freehand with the drill? You know, no, you can't see it from there, Bob. Okay. So what I did is I drilled a hole a quarter of an inch off center. Right, hang on just a second. And take this out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen mandrel and I have mounted in here, right, a quarter inch by 20 TPI uh, engine bolt. So I'm going to put it in the Morse taper and on the inside, on the inside, I have a threaded Morse taper. This is a pro pen mandrel that you can get at um, a Woodcraft, right? So you just take the pen mandrel out and you put the screw in there, a quarter 20 screw, tighten it down. And I can use this for all of the, the little things that I do on a screw chuck. So I'm gonna put the the threaded rod through the tailstock or the headstock. Okay. And I'm going to thread that on so that we have a drawbar. Let me. Uh... Hey, hey, Mark. Yes. Just so you know, somehow you're generating some feedback uh, between your microphone and your speaker on the phone. So I don't know if there's anything you can do about it, but. Did that fix it? That's better, yes. Okay, okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw this into the Morse taper. So all your little projects, you screw chucks on and everything, this is a handy way to do this. We're going to put it through here, and then I'm going to lock that in wherever I put that. No, I just had the... Uh... Oh, here it is. So I'm going to lock that in there.
So now I can work that work this without having uh, any tail stock support at a, at, a, at a certain point. So now I'm gonna let this screw on. Tighten that on. And now I'm gonna take the tail stock off. Because with this being off center, then we can't use the tailstock for support. It'll put a, uh, a torque on it. So we put our live center in there. Then you can just detach, uh, use a, uh, a three quarter 10 uh, that to go on the tailstock and make yourself a flat disc. So once I push this up, right, then that's going to give it a little support. If you can look right here. And now when you see this, you see, it gives it parallel support no matter where it is. Yeah, that's a good jig. Let me, uh, let me get my... Hang on just a minute. All right, here we go. Move your light over here to say. Okay, so now what I have, right, is I have right here, you see where the, I don't have that edge right there. So I've got to bring this up to make that edge nice and sharp. If we got it. Okay, so I have a clean edge all the way around. And so then what we'll do is we would obviously sand all this, but just to make for quickness here. We're... When you go to make your cutoff, always make sure to make an angle on your cutoff tool anytime you're making any type of bottle stopper, right? so that you always make an undercut. You don't come straight across. You make an undercut so that when the, the bottom of the bottle stopper and the wood part, it's not a straight across. You can't see light. It's always undercut so that it, you, don't, you don't see any crack. So now I'm gonna go parallel to my screw and I'm gonna come under. And of course, it would have been sanding. We would have put the uh, finish on it. Unscrew this. All 
Okay, so we have an undercut. And then where that you cut that off, right? Take just a little reamer, right? And do like that. And now that'll fit onto the right now we'll go on the wall. Right. We gotta start here just a second. Then we have the uh, <coughs> bottom part of the bottle stopper, so we unscrew the spud. And I put it in a little handle. Okay. And I, I drilled a 3 16th hole in here because I'm using a quarter uh, PPI. Stuff. So then we that pre threads it. And all I got to do is screw the stud in. We screw it in until it's tight. There we go. Boom. Like that. And all I have to do is screw it in like this. And then we have we have an offset bottle stopper. And you can see no joint on there because it's undercut. Okay, that's all there is to a, an, an offset uh, piece. Now, when we go to do a, uh, a multi-axis, is there any questions on that? No, you sure made it look simple. Oh, well, that's great. Okay, let's do a, uh, let's do a multi-axis here. Let me take this, this thing off. Okay, to make a multi-axis, we're gonna drill a hole down the center of the block of wood. Okay. Let me, uh, let me knock this out. Take this out here. Okay. No, just a second. Hey, nope, nope. Nope. Whack it, Mark. No, no, no. That's why we make wooden mallets. Right. Hit it like it owes you money. It needs a Ford wrench. Ah. Get another. I made that rod too short. Let me let me see if I can. Thank 
Let me tighten it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly tilt it. Okay, can everybody see that where it's tilted? Go to turn it slow, slow. Everybody see that? Yep, it's not quite square on the chuck. It's tilted a little bit. Yeah, we've nope. got it tilted. Deliberately. We've got it tilted. See that? Yep. Okay. So then we're gonna, we're gonna put our tail stack up. Okay, so now I've got it trapped in there. So the first thing I'm going to do. Is I'm going to make another plunge cut. I've got to come back just a little farther. Okay, I'm going to sand this, I sand it all the way to 800. Right? And then we take it out. I can put that uh, quarter 20 screw back in, or I'll just put it on this one here. It doesn't make any difference. And so now we got that right in the center. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that on our quarter 20 screw. So this is already sanded to 800. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to make our, our final cuts on this axis here. These two cuts are going to be on this axis. This cut was on the other axis.
His camera's froze up again. Yeah, I was going to say, did he freeze or is it just me? No, I think it's froze. That usually means his internet connection is locked. I'm going to shoot him a message again. Oh, hey, Dave, talk to, talk to us about the website while we're waiting for uh, Mark to come back on. Okay. What's, I new, guess and, I can what's do that. new and exciting? What's new and exciting? Actually, I'm trying to put something up right now. Well, not this moment, but uh, if anybody's got some uh, graphics, I was realizing that we've been accumulating a lot of graphics lately, and I really ought to be putting some of them up. They're each going up with the articles they belong to, but I was thinking it'd be nice if they were someplace where you could generically go on the site and say, oh, there's a, well, last week, uh, Trey had two graphics. One was for the uh, for the Vera grind and how to set it up. So I'm trying to find things that uh, I can put up. If you happen to have some uh, graphics that you use that help you with a setup of any sort, uh, send them over to me and I'm going to uh, try to get them up. Uh, one of the other things that's up there at the moment or will be up is the indexing wheel that we got many weeks ago. And that way, if somebody's looking for something to do a setup with, and they think they need uh, some, port of su some sort of support, maybe you can find a graphic that says, here's what the angles mean. And uh, maybe we can get some help out of that. Okay. I don't know if right that on. makes sense to you. Yeah, yeah, it does. Absolutely, that sounds good. Well, it looks like Mark is back. So let's span, let's span okay. back to him. Okay. I'm sorry, that thing got overheated. Okay, so I made the front cut. Now I'm going to make the back, the back, the bottom cut. See if we've got our top edge joint. Okay, I've got that edge clean all the way around. So we'll just go there like this. And we would sand this, and we would sand this. They're all on the same uh, axis. So we would take this little reamer here, and just put that in, get rid of that whizzer, right? And we would coat that with our uh, parfix. And then we would just uh, screw in the stud. Let me get this unscrewed here. So we could put in the stud and it would sit on top just like this. So that's a multi-axis. That's a multi-axis, right? And the other one was offset. Very cool. Nice job, Mark. Very really nice. nice. Thank you. The two Great tip like there. That. The two of them look like that, but they're mm -hmm. fun, they're simple, and uh, uh, they're real quick. And that's how you do it. Real nice. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Right. Thank Very you. nice. Good job, Mark. <laughs>